Hey guys, so <laughs> this is <laughs> I'm I'm laughing because I'm I already know that this is craziness, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Steve Dogner here is making a library tour of Doom, and he's just keep saying that he wants to break us. Now I'm I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna break, I'm gonna be crazy about it. And what I decided was that I'm gonna be reading the books that he talks about it on on the his library tour of doom. What he has been doing is like every day he shows a book, talks about just that book. I can mostly read more than one book a day. But I'm probably not gonna read all the books that he shows. Um I have made some rules. First, I do need to, first of all, get them, get the books, if possible, free. There is open library, there is some books that are in public domain, and there is a couple of other um, online platforms where the books are cheaper, or, I mean, I could even go on Amazon sometimes if I really want the book. Um, so if the books are available there, I will get them and read them. That's what that what that was what happened on the first two books because he already did two days. The other there is a cat that wants a lot. Here she is. To better aggravate Steve, we need to have a cat on this conversation. The second rule that I have is that I'm only gonna read books that are called to me that it feel that I feel like. Uh, I will actually enjoy. So, if it's like a very specific war book uh, of something that I do not care about, I'm gonna pass on it. Or if it is a, a team, something history of America that is like very just a little bit, a little event that I do not know anything about tonight, to be honest, do not care that much. I won't be reading it. Now, to the first two books. You want to go away? No? The first two books, um, I already read one and I'm in the middle of the second one. Um, the first one that he talked about on day one was The Big Snow by Berta and Elmer Harder. Uh, it's a children's book about the snow coming and how the animals... Um, and how the animals react to it, who, which ones of them will go away, which ones will go up, will hibernate, and the one, which ones will just do their life as normal. And she's, she really wants to be alive today. Um, yeah, that one, amazing. The illustrations are so, so pretty. As an illustrator myself, it was awesome to, to just bask on that book and take my time with it. Uh, five sorry for me. Love it. I'm on the second book. The the second how to say today is day two of the library tour, so I'm at this point the very beginning of it. I'm doing okay. It's the very beginning of it. Uh, the second book is the Everglades: The River of Grass by Major Stoneman Douglas, if I'm not mistaken, and. It is about the history of the Everglades. I cannot talk too much about it because I'm still reading it. What I can say is that the writing is amazing. It's so, so good. And even though it is about a, a place in, in America that, to be honest, I don't know anything about. <laughs> or at least I didn't know. I know a little bit now. Uh, and it is... It has a lot of native history to the land, and to be honest, it's not something that usually interests me. The book is so well written that I'm just basking on it. I, yeah, I'm just enjoying the perfectly written sentences and just learning about things that I wouldn't be learning if I didn't pick up this book because to be honest as I said before history of America is not my forte 
it's not the things that I'm inclined to go look for so so yeah this is day two for Steve also I'm I'm doing I'm at the moment in the middle of the book from day two I do not plan to be so in sync in the future because there's books that I'm gonna skip and there's books that's gonna be too big for me to read in one day I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna be able to finish the Everglades today probably not probably gonna finish that tomorrow and by tomorrow I'm gonna have another book already waiting either to be read or to be passed on now another rule that I forgot to say that I gave myself is that Steve is trying to break us and Steve has lots of books he's gonna be dragging this hopefully please do Steve please drag this all the during all the year we, we, we want this <laughs> You think we don't want, but we want this. So, I'm. It's gonna have some backlog because I'm not gonna be able to keep up even with passing some books. What I'm gonna be doing is at the end of the month, I'm gonna assess how many books I've read, how many books I'm. I still want to read, and how many books I've passed, and what the books that I still want to read, I will think. If I'm going to incorporate that in future TBRs, if I'm just going to mark them as wanting to read and I put them on my list of books that I want to read on Goodreads, I will see how I do this. So I will do at least an update at the end of the month, of at the end of each month about these things. But do you guys want me to do an update weekly? Because I will be talking about lots of books at the end of the month and I'm not gonna be having like books to show you because I'm reading this on open library mostly getting that open library apparently it gets lots of books from Boston library so there is a high chance that lots of the books that Steve chose are also on open library but here yeah, yes do you guys want me to do is weekly I'm always thinking on doing like a weekly um, update and then the last week of the month I do a bigger update when I reflect on the books that I have read the books that I passed on and the books that there are still to be read don't let me know I'm inclined to do this weekly instead of just um, monthly but this is a, ch a very me challenge because <laughs> this is the thing I do I start battling with people that I do not know friendly battle it's done with all the love possible so yeah do let me know if this is something <laughs> you guys will have genuine interest to um to see more about and if by any chance steve finds this you hi <laughs> sakura says hi to you and one question that you had in one of your videos if cats enjoy the reading time she loves them. She goes to my lap because she knows that it's time for her mom to be on the bed just laying and she's just she goes to for a snuggle. <laughs> now that I've triggered Steve enough. Uh, yeah, that's all for now. <laughs> Bye guys.